Glad to have you with us in the studio. I'm Reese Davis, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. A nice, easy pace of warm-ups. Over. Better buckle those chin straps. SEC action about to start. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Vanderbilt is kicking off first, and we're ready to get this game underway. And this season is officially underway. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Ole Miss is a team and a program that year in, year out, has got 1,000-yard rushers. Sometimes they've got two, and they've got that huge offensive line, and, you know, you get too worried about them, and sometimes you can overlook the fact they can throw the ball. It's going to be tough today for this defense. I think they're going to have to take some chances and load this line of scrimmage. And, you know, as a play caller for this offense, when you have such a gifted running back, it opens up every aspect of the offense. I mean, the play-action pass with this running game, you get those linebackers and safeties coming up close to the line of scrimmage. It's a great time to really open up and show what you can do as a complete offense. It'll be a challenge. was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Nothing going there for the halfback on that option play. really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down and a punt. Shepard is back awaiting the punt. And he's tackled at the 19. Brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. Scrambling around. He lets it fly. Caught out in the open. Down the sideline. Brought down with only one man to beat. Washington takes his own at the 25 yard line. That makes it first and 10. ten. So the big gain resulting from the pass play leaves us with a first and ten. Looks like 
we're going to drive for the long field goal. Vanderbilt to take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up, and he just drilled it from long range. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. The Razorbacks were ranked 19th, and after that bitterly disappointing performance, they can expect to be unranked next week. And for Georgia, their season starts with a win. In other games, the Crimson Tides came into today's game ranked number one in the land, and they silenced any doubters with that performance. And for Alabama, they start the season with a victory. Alabama performs well enough to win it by 16. All right, thanks, Reese. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Vanderbilt's looking right now like they've got all three phases working. Yep, it's early, but they are in control of this game. The defense is, seems to have a very good feel for what they're doing out there. The offense moved the ball down the field. Special teams, everything right now is really in sync for this game. Play. Man, it's an offensive lineman. This is the worst thing that you want to see. Is your quarterback not only getting sacked, but getting hit like that. Those linemen better pick that quarterback up and start doing a better job of taking care of it. So the sack makes this a second and long. <laughs> makes it out to maybe the 19-yard line. Scramble. He lets it fly. It falls incomplete. The pressure had a lot to do with that throw. That's exactly what they wanted there to force a bad pass into coverage. The offense was very lucky it wasn't picked off. Shepard back deep to return. Shepard takes it to 47, right down at the 49-yard line. We're set to get restarted as the offense looks to build on the success of their field goal on the last drive. Vanderbilt is up by three. tackle at the 40-yard line. The options were the more difficult plays to defend. The defense went after the quarterback, which left the running back with plenty of room. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. He's on the run. Throws left. Picked off.
five scramble. Boy, was he drilled as he let go of that football. Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 20. out and he has it on the corner he gets hit out of bounds at about the 29 yard line First down there on the play with the run from the tailback. He took advantage of a powerful effort by his offensive line to turn that into a pretty big run. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 36. Seven-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 47-yard line. He's scrambling. He's in trouble. And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second and ten. Ball on the 47. Not much more the defense can do there. They had outstanding coverage. It was just good execution from the quarterback making the right throw and the receiver going up and making a catch. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. From their own 17-yard line. First down. Ole Miss holds a four-point lead. He's out to the 30. Across midfield. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Touchdown, Rebels. Punches it into the end zone for the second time today. That was just an excellent individual effort to find the end zone. And he adds the extra point. A quick update there. Here's Reese. Let's check in on the SEC where you have to be a burner to be a playmaker. And for Auburn, we are seeing the offense jump out in front. The Tigers have the lead 14-10. Well, if that score holds up, that would be water cooler talk on Monday morning. Cruz has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He's to the 20. He's taken down at the 23. The 
the offense comes out to start this drive and they're hoping for a better result as they threw a pick on their last possession. He's got a lot of time to forget about that last pick. He just got to stick to the game plan. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. He's at the 40. And down he goes at the 33. Well, that's exactly what this defensive coordinator wanted to see. Somebody come up with a big play. Right when it looked like this team might be able to get back in the game, they come up with a big interception and maintain the momentum here in the first half. From the 33-yard line, first down. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at about the 25-yard line. Six-yard line. The defense was able to get really good penetration and drop him short of the line of scrimmage. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Dumps it complete to the halfback over the middle. He's pushed out of bounds right around the four-yard line. now here in the second quarter. System. One week, they might look like they're already an All-American. And next week, they have an outing like this. The important thing is to back him up, stick with him, and allow him to continue to grow as a young quarterback. Got a man, they knocked it loose. I like the scheme the defensive coordinator came up with here. They were all over the place on that play. and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 25. Around the 33 yard line. They'll bring him down at about the 49. It's a good job of converting on third down with the running game. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. And two, green nine. Green nine. The game's his way to the 39-yard line. That makes it first and 10. Quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Up the middle for a nice game. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down.
forward to about the 30. play of this drive. Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. They come out on an empty backfield. Decent game there on the play by the running back, and that's enough for the first. I don't think there's a coach in the world who wouldn't be happy with getting five yards of carry. Tenth play of the drive. Try for the two point conversion. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Scrambling around. Under pressure. He's got the two. going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for it. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 49. back a yard not much going on there those kind of plays will not work against this defense you can be sure of that from the 50 it's second down he's at the 40 tackle at the 36 yard line Started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From the 38-yard line, it's second down. Hands it to the back. There he goes. He's at the 20. For the 10. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. He makes the PAT. This is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. 
both teams are challenging both of these defenses. And we see this offense again after what you could call a very physical touchdown run. Well, I say that, Brad, because the big hog mollies up front were able to create holes for the running game and help them get the score. Let's see if they can do it again. Over the middle. And they make the stop around the 38-yard line. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Here they come. Rolling out to the right side. Wants to go long and done. Uh, oh, what an interception. some sort of comeback in the second half. First and 10, ball on the 32. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Shepard back to return it. He makes it to the 48 yard line. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Now he tries to buy some time. Throws complete touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. They're going to try for the two-point conversion. This defense not wanting to give an inch here. He's scrambling. Heading for the corner. And he's in for two. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Let's check in on the SEC. We've been watching this thing all day long. And for Oklahoma, a very lethargic performance so far. If they don't watch out, they're going to be in a world of hurt. Auburn leads it 17-10. 28-19 in this one. Vanderbilt is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle made the 21-yard line. The Rebels obviously have built their offense around this guy. And through two quarters, everything's working, Herbie. But, you know, you can't just rely on one guy. And he's got to be careful a little bit in the third and fourth quarter, too. Well, you want to keep pushing. I mean, he's off to a great start. This offense is obviously off to a great start. It's a fourth-quarter game. And, you know, the opponent's going to try to get back into this game, take some chances. So if this running back is smart, he'll continue to challenge himself, his offensive line, and the entire offense. Continue to try to put more points up on the board. Screen pass. He's got his halfback. Knocked 
knocked out of bounds at about the 41. From the 41 yard line, it's first down. a nice job by the quarterback reading the coverage and delivering a very catchable ball and allowing his receiver to come up with a nice game. They bring him down. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. do will be surprised to see the old coach get all his linemen to protect the quarterback a little bit better. It's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. He scrambled. They'll make the sack. This quarterback has to do a better job of avoiding the rush because sacks can be real drive killers. Stick it to these receivers with tighter coverage. Quick throw. At the 30. To the 20. The 10. Dives. Touchdown. They look awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. So the offense is going to go for two. Defense and their short yardage package. Green nine, green nine. Yes. Now he's scrambling. Tries to get around the corner. They got it. to about the 48-yard line. We've seen quite a bit of offense here as we reach halftime. Ole Miss is up by eight. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14. This All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action is about ready to start here. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. He's going to try and scramble. He's got the corner. Big opening. Decides to slide. From their own 37-yard line, first down. He's on the run. 
He flings it. And it's intercepted. He's tackled at the 41 yard line. It looked like the pass was sailing out of reach, but he just climbed the ladder and made a spectacular interception. From their own 41 yard line. First down. Ole Miss up by eight. They'll run it. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. Boy, did you see how the defense just swarmed to the ball carrier? That was fantastic pursuit. Laterals back, and he's got space. He's tackled in the open field, so he decides to hold on to it, and that's going nowhere. That makes it second and ten. an eight-point advantage. They keep it on the ground and a great tackle right there. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Ole Miss can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up and it splits the uprights. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. The Sooners came into the game ranked ninth. After the bitterly disappointing loss, how far were the posters move them down? Who in the world saw this one coming? Not me. A major upset is done. The Tigers win it 24-17. You can feel the shockwaves around this stadium. People can't believe that score. They line up to kick this one away. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And he's tackled around the 46-yard line. The offensive lineman played that one perfectly, giving the tailback plenty of space to work with, and he took advantage of it. It's first and ten. Ball on the 46. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Davis gets six yards on the play. That brings him second and five. Second and five coming up here. Ball on the 48-yard line. Check 
He's at the 40. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. They come out in a goal line set. for the corner he's at the 20 tackle made around the 12 yard line we've got a first and 10 ball on the 12 yard line The running back gets two on the carry. is up by eight. Makes it to the 37. Second and 12 coming up here. Ball on the 35. And they make the stop at about the 37 yard line. That brings us third and 10. He goes downtown. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. This deficit can be easily overcome, sure. But they have to be thinking if they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. He makes his way to about the 32. First 
from their own 32 yard line. It's first down. That is a tough quarterback to stop. First and ten. Ball on the 41-yard line. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Touchdown. Wow, he looked like a running back out there. And that's just what you want when you're calling the option. All right, guys, crucial two-point conversion. They'll try to tie this thing up. scrambling and they will get the two a fourth play 80 yard drive and they'll come away with six points after failing on the two point conversion well Pratt, right now this offense is hot they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense vanderbilt is lining up to kick this one off he sends this one deep and it goes into the end zone down for a touchback time's running short here so let's see what plays out but with the lead and the ball here in the fourth quarter, it's important that the offense kind of maintain their edge that they've played with throughout the ball game. You can't get too conservative. You can't worry about turning the ball over. Just drop all that out. Execute the way you have up to this point. And they should be able to get out of here with a win. Losses on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Ole Miss holds just a two-point lead. He's going to air it long. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. Shepard awaiting the return. Balls for the fair catch. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Empty backfield. Quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Nice 
run up the middle. That's a four. Third down. First and ten, ball on the 48. Here's a run, heading for the corner. Nice gain as he works to the right side. Davis picks up five with the carry. at the 30 for the 20. And he's finally shoved out at the 12-yard line. Now that is exactly how you draw up the option. When this offense is executing the option effectively, they are a tough team to stop from moving the ball. First and 10 following that big run. play of this drive. They've got their goal line sets on the field. This might be a good time for play action. Second down. They're packed in tight on the line. Touchdown, and now they're in front. Big, big touchdown on the ground right there. Well, they're going to try for the two-point conversion. He's going to try and scramble. He's under pressure. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. They don't get it.
kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Rebels, coaching staff, and the entire team knows that this is the guy that can win it for them. The offense has to find a way to get the football into the hands of this running back, whether it's a, a simple toss sweep or maybe a ball out of the backfield where he can catch it in space. Any way that they can get the football to him to see if he can spring one to maybe get the field goal range or who knows, maybe take it to the house. And he just gets rid of it. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. Just over a minute left. Steps out of bounds around the 33-yard line. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. play the defense just suffocated them there they need about three yards to get the first down here on third down well, a lot of frustration by that offense but you've got to give the defense credit for coming up with a stop in this quarter in a game this close And if they don't get this one, you can start to warm up the bus. And he's tackled around the 34-yard line. Second and ten. Ball on the 34. Check three, check three, Under a minute left. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. The sub package in there defensively in this five-wide receiver set. Slings it quickly to his half-back again. Once you're set, you've got to stay that way. The slightest flinch is going to be enough to draw the flag. So we'll have first and 15 after the penalty. The 
This is from the five yard line. It's third and goal. So, Kirk, how would you sum up the action in this one? I'm practically speechless. Just an incredible game to have witnessed. What a moment for these guys to pull off this shocker. Vanderbilt got these guys into a dogfight, and in the end, they just wanted it more. They made the plays they weren't supposed to make and won a game nobody thought they would win. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.